Hey guys, welcome to the North for Sales Public Library. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to make a lionfish out of a paper plate. So, normally when I make these videos, um, I do the craft on video so you guys can see step by step how I did it. This took, seemed like 45 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe a little over that, I don't remember. But this took a while to make and I'm not gonna film all that out. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you guys um, what you should do step by step. So the first thing that you're, you're going to want to do is find a paper plate and it can be a mini paper plate, it can be a regular size paper plate, but just make sure it's a paper plate. Fold it in half so you get this semicircle shape for the body of the fish. And you can cut it down to size, but one thing I will say, the smaller you make your lionfish, the harder it's going to be to make these little designs and lines um, if you're going to outline yours in black like I did to make it stand out. So I would suggest the bigger your line fish is going to be, the easier it's going to be to make these designs. Okay, so the second thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make this mouth and the eye like go together. The reason why they go together is because wherever you place the eye of your fish, you're gonna want the mouth to be, you know, not too far away, not too close. So wherever you decide to place your eye, make sure that there is a mouth here and you're gonna have to cut out a mouth. So what I did was this, this used to be a whole semicircle here and I trimmed out, you know, a shape for the mouth. So make sure the face goes in a little bit and make sure you have a mouth there, okay? You might have to adjust the whole body to accommodate the new shape for the mouth, but that's okay if you figure it out. So after you do the, you glue the eye and the mouth on. Now keep in mind, my paper plate was not closed until the very end. Like I had it, I mean it was closed, but I didn't glue it shut yet because I'll tell you why later. So you have your eye glue glued on and you have your new, you know, cut out mouth here. So now you're gonna start making your stripes. You can use paint, you can use markers, you can use construction paper, you can use colored pencils. Whatever you want, you can make these orange brownish stripes out of for your lionfish. Now I actually I actually used um, an orange marker originally to make those lines. I didn't really like the way that they looked, so I changed it and I put construction paper instead. Um, and I like you know try to match up my markers my um, construction paper with the original marker lines I made. That took a long time. That's probably why this video took so long, um, or that's why the craft took so long for me to make. But after you do your orange lines on there, you might as well make a little red mouth for your fish. So draw little like red lips for your fish. Um, and then what I would say, Make these little, I don't know if they're called fins or what, but make these fins top and bottom for your fish and make your tail. And um, I added another strip of orange paper for the tail just to blend the whole pattern and to make it look nice. You know, I, I mean, I guess you could leave that out if you wanted, but I think it kind of adds to it. So I'm glad I did it. But I did like little dots here for the tail and the fins, I guess. And then you're going to do the, um, the spikes on top of the fish and you're just going to cut like pointy pieces of paper, um, color them in with marker, try to make it like a tiger kind of stripe. Um, you, I made mine out of red marker and you can see it kind of contrasts with that, but I kind of like it. I think it looks different. So you can, you can make your lionfish blue, purple, whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be, to be accurate, this is just for fun. So um, I made red stripes and I think it goes well with it. And then I cut out the little fin for my lionfish. So that's the way it turned out. And make sure to glue, when you're gluing the, um, the spines on and everything, and even you can see for the fins, I glued it on the back. So. I glue the tail on the inside of the paper plates. 
and I glued the spikes on the inside of the paper plate. So that's why you're going to glue your paper plate last so that you can stick this in there and it have it look nice, okay? So that's how I made my paper plate lionfish.